see the injury because we do not want to share it with anyone. Uh, we have a prop here because when we talk about a compound open fracture, Dr. Lee, we're talking about... Thank you very much for bringing that up. <laughs> well, well, well this, this is why everyone's talking about it, Dr. Lee, because we don't want to admit this can happen, but a leg, you can break you know, any bone in your body, and if the, the edge of that bone, it can break through the skin, and this is one of those injuries that is so devastating if you're a bystander. But the good news is, after an injury like this, there are things that can be done. There are a ton of things that can be done. You know, one of the things that made his injury very particular, very unique, was when he jumped, he was going to block a shot, and then he was almost going to fall into the stance. So he landed on one leg, and instead of bending his knees, bending his ankles, and trying to absorb the shock, he almost tried to stop himself, and that caused all of his muscles to fire. His, his leg basically buckled, so he had no shock absorption. So all that force and torque just got transmitted to the bone instead of the joints. Unfortunately, the bone just, just failed under the pressure. And let's show you all an animation of, of what this looks like. Dr. Lee, walk us through this. Yeah, so certainly once a bone is kind of protruding out of the skin, we want to wash and clean off that bone and minimize the chance of any sort of infection. After that, we can manipulate the bone, get it back into the appropriate alignment, and we actually insert a rod through the upper end of the bone to stabilize that fracture, and then we can fix that rod with a few screws. So this rod is what's keeping his bone yeah, in place right now. Basically, this is kind of an example of one of the rods that we use. And you can see it's uh, it's metal. Uh, this particular one is titanium. Some of them are stainless steel. And the great thing about the rods, um, as opposed to having it treated without surgery, right. um, you can put weight on it very early. We can start the rehab almost right away, start range of motion. You know, two days later, Kevin was up on crutches walking around. And, and I, don't so have, I don't have, have that, that, right? No, I, I didn't. It was uh, way back then. 30 years ago, medical science was different than it is today, so we didn't really have that scientific background to do it. I had a very good union of the bones, and we thought it would be okay. Now I wound up with what's called an 11 degree varus, or a slight bend in, the, in, the, in just above the ankle. But the other thing that Dr. Lee mentions is very important. With an exposed fracture, one of the biggest and most important things is, is to make sure there's no infection. Right? I think that's the first thing. And then you sort of put it back together. It's interesting you mentioned that. Um, the bone is one thing. To us, a lot of the times, we, we kind of assume the bone is going to heal, especially in a young, fit, athletic person. Um, the soft tissue around the bone is really what needs to be rehabbed, all the muscle, the strengthening, uh, making sure there's no infection. That's and that's the key. We've come such a long way that Kevin Ware, we're hoping, is going to have a long and prosperous career, not only at the University of Louisville, or whatever he wants to do, because there are now treatments that Joe did not have. And we do want to quickly go to Kevin's sister, Donna Smith, who we have on the phone, and and uh, we just wanted to ask you, Donna, how is your brother doing? He is doing great. Like, <clears throat> I don't even believe that he's doing as great as he, he is doing. Has he always been this resilient? Yeah, I, I definitely I definitely would say so. But this has been the, the test of <laughs> all resiliency for all of us, um, definitely. Well, we want you to wish him our best because... When I watched that injury and I saw how he reacted, all I kept thinking is I hope that young men across this country are watching the maturity that he's displaying because he literally grabbed his teammates and said, go win this. And yeah. they were playing my alma mater, Duke University, and I started to root for Kevin. I was like, yeah, let's go. So yeah, send Kevin yeah. our best, and thank you so much, Donna, for being with us. And, and Joe, I know it ended your playing career, but, but we love the work that you're doing after your playing days, and thank you for joining us. And sharing your Thanks for having me.